That was season three of Dragon Tales. This is the worst season ever. Not because they added a new character, but every episode has a like a story reused from a past episode. I swear to God, that's what happened. Every episode is like, like reused. Some episodes from season two and some episodes from this season are used multiple times. It's so annoying. But first up is to fly with a new friend. So this new friend named Enrique comes over to Emmy and Max's house. And apparently I heard that Enrique is like their cousin or something, but yeah. And they talk about like Dragonland, but... Uh, Emmy's not so sure about telling him about it. But, yeah. But they do, and they bring him to Dragonland. He's so freaked out by it. And, yeah, some crazy stuff happens. But, yeah. I barely remember this episode. Uh. What was I gonna say? Uh. So, yeah, this third season was made in 2005. And the last episode of season two aired... Uh, in October of 2002. And mostly, I think the reason why they waited so long is because one of the executive producers died around the time. It was really sad. They made a video tape called Let's Start a Band or something to promote or to, like, uh, dedicate, dedicate to her. And it's just such a weird video. I mean, it's just a compilation of dragon tunes. And in between the dragon tunes, there's this girl and the, these little children, like, in the neighborhood, like, dancing along to the songs. It's just so weird. Rise and Bloom. Max wants to see the bursting blossoms event in Dragonland, but it happens at sunrise, and he's afraid he'll sleep through it. I barely remember this episode, though. Super Snow Day. The friends go sledding on Snowy Mountain snowy summit and but they first they must help Enrique get used to snow which he has never seen before oh my god this Enrique kid is like the absolute worst musical scales oh my god this one see uh, uh Zack and Wheezy's scales are shedding but uh they uh need to like uh they need to like uh uh, perform for, like, some concert or something, but they can't seem to... And Enrique has, like, this bad hair day or something. It's just so weird. Hand in hand. Enrique goes to the wishing well to wish that Emmy and Max would stop fighting. But apparently he doesn't wish for that exactly, and apparently his wish makes Emmy and Max, like, get stuck together. Like, their hands are stuck together and stuff. It's just so weird. I don't know. Sky Soccer, or to help Ord's friends help him get better at s soccer by holding drills. I don't even know what that is. Making it fun. The friends help paint the racetrack for the Junior Unicorn race, but they find the job boring. I swear to God, if that one unicorn lost her glasses appears in this episode. I don't know. Itching for a cure. The friends try to build a house of cards, but the house keeps falling down when an earthquake shakes them. Turns out to be Mungus who's shaking it, and he has a rash on his back. I barely remember this. I mean, how is Enrique not peeing himself from seeing all this crazy stuff happen? I mean, there's Quetzal who speaks Spanish just like him. But yeah. The big race. There's a big race in Dragonland. And Enrique helps modify Lorca's wheelchair, but leaves him out. Flip flop. Zack and Wheezy find a golden statue that causes them to flip personalities. I barely remember this episode, but I think it was actually kind of funny. Ah, uh, yeah. This repeats of an episode aired during the second season. There's lots of these are just repeats of episodes. I think, feel like it's a Mandela effect where every episode, both stories were seen in three stories involving Enrique. But yeah. I don't know. There were some, like, involving without him, but yeah. Uh, Max loves a train. Max and his friends help find missing tracks so they can ride the Dragonland Express. So what is this, like, some Thomas crossover? Uh... El Dia del Maestro. I don't know what this is. But yeah. Enrique and his friends help out 
in, uh, well, you know, I mean, a concert held every year on a different day in Dragonland. But yeah, apparently. Finn's blanket. Blanky. Mom, Cassie's mom throws Finn's blanky in the laundry, but Finn is upset. I don't remember this one. Express yourself. Enrique gives Cassie a nickname she does not like, but Cassie's too shy to express her feelings. I barely remember this episode, but yeah. I, I forget what the nickname was. I should probably do, like, reactions or something. Prince for a day. Orna saves uh, Princess Kidoodle and becomes a hero. But when he has to choose which snack the kingdom would rather eat, he's torn. Wasn't there, like, an... I feel like I skipped an episode where they're trying to, like, deliver something to, like, this... Uh, a fairy doodle like party thing and they have to go through like different obstacles and yeah also what happened to the running gag involving ord going invisible and kathy or cassie shrinking i barely remember that's not even in the season or in the second season i don't think a small victory max and Lorca are paired for a scavenger hunt max is too small to do very much and Lorca can't fly and is disabled However, Lorca shows Max that they can use their disadvantages to win the hunt and collect plants and to add to their garden and take where they take a pretend bath in the woods. Oh my god. Feliz cumpleaños, Enrique. See, it's a birthday party for Enrique. He's sad, though, because he misses his uh, Colombian uh, birthday traditions. It's Really sad episode, I remember this. Down the drain, Captain Scallywag accidentally puts, pulls the plug that holds the water in Dragoon Lagoon. And it is up to him to get, and his friends to get the water back. Oh my god. Enrique should be, like, fascinated that there's another human in Dragonland, but, like, I don't know. Enrique should just be freaking out by all this crap. Max, all the glitters... Max accidentally loses Quetzal's precious golden scale and is afraid Quetzal will be upset. I barely remember this. Play it and say it. Oh, yeah. See, he has to, like, to learn about Spanish numbers. And, like, he has trouble. Or to has to, like, figure out about Spanish numbers. See, one uh, uh, part I remember is that Emmy's, like, saying adios, which rhymes with dos. Mm. Which is the Spanish word for two. Mm. And she's like, adios. Oh no, you're leaving? I mean, it's not like that one episode where she left in the middle of the episode and then came back. Moving on. Oh uh, yeah. Cassie's sister Sophie is going to cooking school. And Cassie is upset when she leaves. Oh yeah, I remember this one. The friends, all together now, the friends go to the Dragonland Carnival. But when Emmy and Enrique go to play off, go off to play together. Max feels left out. I barely remember this. But yeah. Oh, sad little star. The friends help a star named Sol I I don't know what that says. Join in on the daytime activities she always misses. I think there was like an episode of Roly Poly Oli where a star comes down from the sky. You remember that show? I used to have a VHS tape with that episode. But yeah. Hello, Miss Tips. The class in the school in the sky has a substitute teacher named Miss Tips. The others have a fun day, but Lorca misses Ord's, or Ketzel's way of doing things. I thought it was Ord who was, like, uh, worried about that. I don't know. The last episode isn't even, like, a repeated episode, though. Uh, but it's, like, called A Storybook Ending. How coincidental. So sad. It's time for the friends to choose from Quetzal's pop-up book, but Enrique has never chosen a story. You don't say. I'm trying to make that you don't say face, but yeah. But oh my god, I'm done with... Oh my god. I might as well read about this. It's an unproduced episode. An unproduced pilot episode. The first one's called One Small Step for Cassie. Max, Emmy, 
and their dragon friends take a trip to the moon. There, Cassie observes something dangerous and is afraid to speak up. Eventually, she speaks up and saves both herself and her friends. I mean, I can't find these episodes, but I might as well talk about them. But yeah. Circle of Friends. Isn't that the name of Barney episode where BJ gets a stomachache from a bunch of, like, uh, pancakes? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Max is bad at drawing circles. I mean, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like an early version of the episode where he has trouble drawing within the lines, practically. It literally is. So, yeah. I mean, circles aren't really that easy to draw, so I can understand his pain. But, yeah. But, I'm done with Dragon Tales. It's so sad. This show didn't uh, get a reboot or something. <laughs> only nine... Only three seasons. I mean, it may seem like enough, but really, it's not. I mean, what kind of memories video do you want me to do? I mean, do you really want me to do a Booba memories video? Because I really don't. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do a Marvin the Tap Dancing Horse video. I don't know. But yeah, it has to be a show that I've seen every episode of and remember so good. Like, Jakers. Yeah. Maybe we'll do Jakers next time. I don't know. But that's it for today. And now, I wish, I wish to use this rhyme to end the video. Until next time. See ya! Do, 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 do.